guys welcome to my channel I'm Jordan if you're new here today's video is going to be a foundation wear test and review on the new Gucci Beauty natural finish foundation so if you're interested in my thoughts keep on watching all right so I'm up close and this is what my skin looks like without anything so what I'm gonna do is put on um, the primer on half my face and keep the other half of my face bare so we can see how exactly this foundation wears with the primer and without the primer so to start off this is the unicarton of the primer this this is the Gucci Silk Priming Serum. You get one fluid ounce and it retails for $57. This is what the packaging looks like. So it is a glass bottle with a plastic cap. It is a soft pink top and then you have a pump. It's nice quality, it feels nice and heavy. So Gucci describes the primer as a primer that creates a luminous matte finish. It's supposed to visibly even tone and visibly plump skin while creating a soft glow effect. So it's going to leave me a luminous matte finish with a soft glow effect. Okay. It has squalene to help replenish the moisture barrier while leaving the skin hydrated and luminous. Powder technology that imparts a elegant silky texture for better blendability and natural finish. And elastomer technology that provides a soft focus effect which minimizes the look of pores and evens texture. It doesn't really tell me what skin types it's good for on Sephora.com so I'm um, Probably, I'm guessing that it's supposed to be good for all skin types and it's made in Italy. We're gonna put the primer on this side of my face. So this is my left side, your right. It does have a fragrance to it. So if you don't like fragrance, which I'm not normally a fan of in my makeup, then keep that in mind. It does feel pretty liquidy. I'm a little bit closer. So this is the side that I have the primer on. This is the side without primer. I just have moisturizer on. I mean, there is, there is a bit of blurring right here. Is there anything spectacular for a blurring type of primer? Not necessarily, to be honest. Um, it feels fine. It is drying down a bit though on my skin. So let's just go ahead and apply the foundation. This is Unicarton of the foundation. It is in a similar box as the primer. And then this is the natural finish fluid foundation from Gucci. And I have it in the shade 420 neutral. This is the bottle that the foundation comes in. So the same as the primer. You have your soft pink top and your gold pump, which is really cute. I like the bottle. I like it a lot. I think it's cute. So I like to apply my foundation with a brush. That's normally what I do. I find that it gives me the coverage that I want without me using too much product. So I am gonna stick with the brush. I'm gonna be using the Sonia G Mini Base from the Kiyaki Holiday um, Collection. So I did start off with one pump on the back of my hand and I'm actually gonna start on the side that does not have any primer. Foundation does have a fragrance to it as well. Mm. It's not as overwhelming as the fragrance like in the bronzer per se, but keep that in mind. You might have a lingering scent. So this foundation is very fluid. It blends pretty easily. As I'm blending it on, I feel like I'm getting a natural matte type of finish. So this is one pump of foundation on one side of my face. I think that the color is pretty good for my complexion, um, but this is what it's looking like. I feel like it kind of smooth hair as well because I didn't have any primer on, so. That's the primer side, and then this is the foundation without primer. I think they look the same now that I have foundation on. 
So the foundation is described as a natural finished liquid foundation that is developed for normal combination and oily skin types. It provides a flawless complexion and can be worn in multiple ways. It has medium coverage and natural finish. Um, so you guys just keep in mind I have normal to dry skin types. It did not say anything about dry in this description of what the foundation is good for. So if you do have dry skin, keep that in mind. You probably have to really prep your skin really well. So we'll see how it wears. I did wear it already one day and I have some thoughts, but we're gonna have a longer wear test today um, so that we can really see what this foundation looks like. I'm just applying another pump onto the side of my face that I have primer on. Okay, so overall I have two pumps of foundation on my face. With it all over my face, I can see a little bit of redness in the undertone of the foundation. It's supposed to be more neutral, but I am getting a little bit more red. As you can see, I'm a little bit more yellow, but it's not bad at all, actually. And once I put my concealer on, I'm sure it will tone down. Once it sets, I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but I can see a little bit of red on my skin right now. Can you guys tell that it has a little bit more red in it? Um, so, it looks good, medium coverage. Now that I have foundation on the prime side versus the unprimed side, it looks very similar. Is this primer really necessary? We shall see if we, when we wear this, like how is the primer really gonna help the wear of this foundation? So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup. I'm gonna fast forward through it, but I'll leave all the items that I'm using on my complexion in the description box down below if you're interested in anything that I use today. All right guys, so this is my completed makeup. I've had on my makeup for about two and a half hours right now because I was straightening my hair and that took some time. But this is what my face is looking like. It is a bit of a bit of shine to it because I was sweating, got the lights on, the heat from the blow dryer and the flat iron, you know. But um, everything still looks good. I think it looks pretty smooth on my complexion. It looks really nice at the moment. Um, doesn't feel heavy or drying on my skin so so far i'm liking the way that it's looking all right guys it's the end of the night i didn't feel like setting everything else up so i just have a soft box on hopefully it's not too bright but i've had my makeup on for 10 hours now and this is what it is looking like i don't know if you guys can tell but i feel like it looks a bit textured here right like it's emphasizing my pores i do have the primer on on this side no primer on this side um we have a slight bit of crease in here and then right here i have a bit of settling around my nose which i normally don't get so like this area right here 
doesn't really look that flattering to me i don't know i'm just like not excited about it i think it looks pretty right now with the glow that it had but for the majority of the day it was a little bit more matte and dry on my skin like it dried down a little bit more matte i didn't spray it at all with any type of setting spray so yeah i feel like it just looks kind of textured right am i tripping yeah um so i don't know i feel like out of all the foundations that i've tried like the higher end foundations this one it's okay to pass it like i like the chanel better I like tom ford better too yeah i think it's okay to pass this one i have normal to dry skin again and i just feel like it's a little bit more textured on my skin i did wear it um before as well and it looked pretty nice but again i feel like it was drying down a little bit more matte on my skin it did mention that it is supposed to give you like a soft focus kind of glow but the texture that i'm experiencing which i normally don't get you guys and some settling hair it's not my favorite you can definitely do it without a primer but i think if you have like combination oily skin this might be better for you as someone with more dry skin i'm kind of not feeling it to be honest so that's going to be it for today's video. Everything will be linked down in the description box down below if you're interested in trying anything out. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jordine. I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.